Hey everybody, I just wanted to start out um, by showing you all this since Antarctic Press just announced it. <clears throat> Excuse me. That William the Last, issue one, is coming out this fall. Um, so we got the little um, announcement here. Ben Dunn posted on Antarctic Press's Facebook page. All ages, 24 pages, $3.99. So several people have asked is... Um, some of you have read it on webtoons at how much of it this um, covers, like if, if it's a trade or a graphic novel or whatever. So the deal is um, it's going to come out single issues, 24, 22 pages. Dep depends on the story beat. I went up and divided them up because it can't be over 24 pages. And they're going to do it as a mini series first. And in order for it to keep going, um, you all will have to buy copies. So, um, just to show the support and to keep it in print and eventually be uh, collected in into a trade paperback and get the story to continue on. I'm still going to put it out online, but um, yeah, you know, getting it into comic shops and getting it, um, you know, just pushing a little uh, into a different market. So go to your comic shop, tell them you want William the last that's uh, be in the previews catalog uh, in June which is what June is almost, it's almost June, isn't it? You know, it's May something. So, so there's that. That's, uh, that's what's going on with William the last, um, the guardian night studios is, uh, basically kind of an imprint. They've got a, uh, they're the business end of it. I'm, I'm not really sure all the ins and outs of it, but, uh, it's kind of like an imprint of Antarctic or they've got a distribution deal with them. So anyway, uh, that's why it's the guardian Knights uh, studios logo there. um, they did the logo, they redid the logo for it. I really like it. I really like how it, how it uh, came out. Uh, so yeah, look for the infamous William gazing at the um, city for the first cover. I did a brand new cover for the um, second issue. So here are the two uh, covers for issues one uh, and two. Uh, doesn't look like the numbers are on there yet. I'm sure they will be by the time it goes to print, but uh, the one on the right is issue two. And, uh, from here on out, there'll be brand new images for, of course, every, um, every issue. So that's kind of what's going on in the world of William the last. And, uh, there haven't been updates on webtoon or on the website, uh, in about a month. Uh, there will be one, uh, hopefully tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm working on the next page. So, um, yeah, just with GI Joe completely disrupted my, um, my uh, schedule here, but I'm uh, trying to get everything back on track. Speaking of which, so I bought um, a little pocket calendar thing. I talked about just being productive and how I try to keep things uh, straight. <clears throat> and um, this is my go-to, the little uh, post-it note, because I've done, like I said before, all the little apps and everything that uh, you can download if you hear a little chirping sound there, it's a bird living in my chimney. Uh, but you know, I download all the apps and it, for some reason it just never works for me. I need to have something physically there. So uh, I have post-it notes around and I still use those, but I wanted to kind of organize my week. And so what I'm doing right now, and we'll see how long this lasts. Um, but essentially I'm just... Um, I don't know, it's probably not going to show too well, but I started Monday and I just list like basically everything I want to get done during the week. And I just kind of hack away at it on, on Monday and everything I don't get done, I'm just moving it down to Tuesday. And so hopefully by the end of the week, I've done most of those things. Um, the post-it notes come just like in the moment kind of things that I need to remember to do and stuff. But just trying to keep a week just so I can visualize my week, what's coming up. And... um basically it's a to-do list uh, in a book just in one place. And then the things I need to keep track. Like this right here is like all the print um, stuff I need to, for the art book. There's a couple things that came back from the printer I need to tweak. So I basically had to go in that email and just break it down and write it down. But you know, if, if you can physically by writing, you know, you're kind of manipulating the information, right? You're distilling it down into steps and writing it. Um, you're more likely to remember it. And I think more likely to actually get it done. There's the bird again. It's a chimney swift, by the way. I know way more about chimney swift noises than I ever cared to. So, um, yeah, I'm in the middle of just trying to, there's so many little things that drop by the wayside. Um, 
uh, with GI Joe, but I've gotten a lot of the commission stuff in for uh, the, the Kickstarter. <clears throat> so I'm trying to keep that stuff organized. I have to keep that stuff organized. Um, there's a handful of people that haven't uh, done their surveys yet. So if you have not done your survey, not counting the digital reward, they didn't get one yet, but just, I need to know what you need, what you want drawn in your book. So, um, yeah, with the Mo- Memorial day, you know, it's a good time of year with, we're about just about to hit, um, uh, June. So we're halfway through the year. It's a good time to kind of, you know, organize. I cleaned up my, that side. uh, I got, all, I found so many mar- uh, pins. So it's a good time to organize your studio and just kind of see where you are for the year. Uh, but I, uh, I got this backwards there. So all these tough. <laughs> It's so like trying to do in a mirror. It's all these tubs back here, right? Not tubs, but um, all the um, uh, little cheapo, uh, what are they called? Dr- organizer things. Organizer things, drawers. Um, I had uh, for years, like I, I promised 10 years straight, um, whenever I would get a new fresh pen, like pit artist pen that he used, the old one I would just chuck in the drawer. So I, I was going back 10 years and I realized I had there, I'm trying to consolidate and clean and get a chair back here and make, you know, make my storage space smaller. Um, but all these cups are full of pens that still worked. So here's a little tip. If you have drawers full of markers and pens and they still work, put all those things together by like, I've got them by size, but I don't have to buy pens for a while <laughs> because just going back, I discarded them because I got a fresh one and fresh ones are nice, but, um, those will do the job and I can find one in there that will do what I need to do. It's just a little tip for saving money. Don't throw them out till you have to. Uh, but if you're going to save them, save them all in one spot. So you're constantly going to use them. Cause if they're out of sight, you're not going to use it. Um, I found a lot of like Prismacolor markers I need to use too. So, uh, that's what's been going on around here. Uh, I'm getting back on schedule with videos, getting back on schedule with everything. Uh, Heroes Con is three weeks, two and a half weeks away. My commission list is open. If you're going to be at Heroes Con, stop by my table. table. I'm, uh, we'll be set up with Tsunami Studios. Uh, I'll have the big Optimus Prime banner. Um, be doing commissions there, taking them in advance now. My commission list is yeah, it's, ah, it's weird. Back here. My thumb that way. Uh, so if you want to get on the commission list, let me know. So that'll do it for now. Uh, pre-order William the Last. Organize your stuff. See you at Heroes. And tomorrow when I do another video.